Hello everyone, Alex Savoy for Discovery of Wine. So today we have the tasting of this wine that we talked about yesterday, Cuvée des Contes C 2010. So a brand new wine. Brand new because, you know, we're only in early 2011 and this is 2010, so, you know, hasn't been sitting around for a long time. Um, let's see what we think of this wine. First thing on the nose, I'm getting some lemon peel, some um, some good freshness. So probably the acidity and minerality of this wine is giving me that freshness impression, you know? Definitely fresh, but I'm sensing also some some peach and apricot, so those type of sort of yellowish fruit uh, hiding a little bit behind. Probably this is, uh, this is a little bit cold, so that might be why those fruits are sort of behind, sort of, you know, half asleep still. Very nice nose, very aromatic, not, no, sorry, not very aromatic, so it's not bursting with aromas, they're not super intense, but there's a nice complexity of aromas, a multitude of aromas, that blend well together. This is very pleasant on the nose. I'm um, excited to see where this goes. Actually, I've tried it two minutes ago. Anyways, I'm, I'm still excited to see where this goes. Very nice on the nose. It seems um, seems like it's going to be somewhere between uh, a white wine from the north, so very fresh and vibrant, and a white wine a little bit more from the south that has that roundness, has that sort of the dried fruit component to it. Let's give it a whirl. This is, this is sort of going where I thought it was going to be. Um, it does have a lot of freshness. It does uh, cut through on the little extra fat that this wine has, which is nice. I like fresh white wines. Uh, but it also has a round um, aspect to it. So, you know, it sort of coats your mouth. feels a little bit fatty, you know? A little bit greasy, like there's a bit of butter in there almost. Not quite like a Chardonnay, but in that type of uh, aspect is what I'm talking about. Um, so it does have that nice balance between those two, but it still has good focus. This one is, knows where it's going. Um, I'm sort of uh, drawn back a little bit because there's, there's kind of a bitterness um, that comes through at the end, and that's sort of that apricot that I was talking about, sort of that dried apricot, um, almond feel to it and taste to it that comes through at the end. However, um, this is a very nice wine, very well made. I think most of you would like this because it has sort of that combination of two uh, types of white wines. Um, very pleasant. I think the reason, it, and I already know this, this is not exactly in my fla flavor profile, but uh, I think this would go a lot better with some food. Um, I think this is not the type of wine that you want to serve in the summertime before dinner. This might be the type of wine that you want to serve with some entrees or with some fish. Um, and what I will do, I, I'm going to make a uh, barbecue fish recipe for you guys to go with this. I think this would be a good match. I'm not sure with my exact recipe, but it's my favorite salmon recipe. So I'm still going to make that. But definitely this with salmon uh, is great. Uh, this not being super fresh um, and, you know, only uh, with a strong acidity. I, I wouldn't say it's good with oysters and things like that. But it has that component a little bit, a little bit of fattiness to go with, you know, the fattiness of the salmon. So I think that's going to be a good match. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with that recipe and for now my question for today is or my subject of discussion rather is um, you have surely had wines from southwest France although you might not even remember it because you know what we talked about it's not a region that has a lot of hype around it 
but I'm sure you've had wines either from Cahors, from Madziran, uh, Bergerac, Gaillac, something around that region, uh, around those regions. Um, even the, the Broumont wine, which is a white wine that's very well known in Quebec, it sells a whole lot. Uh, you've probably had that before, or maybe not. Anyways, let, let us know what is your favorite region or specific wine from that region, southwest France, and so we can have a discussion about it. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.